Connecting Central Texas. This is Good Morning Texas. Good morning, I'm Andrea Morgan. And I'm Joe Gum. Here are your top stories for today. Shots were fired overnight at the vigil for one of the victims of the Greenville homecoming shooting. Thankfully, no injuries were reported. A Texas wide manhunt is still underway after a deadly shooting rampage at an off campus homecoming party near Texas A&M Com Commerce. Vice President Pence will be in Central Texas tomorrow. Pence will visit the Fort Hood base. While there, he'll observe a training exercise, participate in a veteran transition roundtable, and deliver remarks to U.S. Army uniformed and civilian personnel. Tomorrow afternoon, he will travel to Austin. Now it's time for a check on your first alert forecast. Aaron. Well, with our headlines on this Monday, it's a tricky forecast over the next couple of days because we're going to be keeping an eye on a cold front that's going to stall across central Texas, kind of right along the I-35 corridor, which means some spots in the afternoons will only be getting into the 50s, while other spots are going to be getting closer to 80 degrees. Similar forecast as we head into Tuesday, though we do add a little more rain to the forecast on Tuesday. And then finally, by Wednesday, cold front pushes through the region, which means it's going to be a much cooler forecast as we head toward Halloween. Halloween and to round out the work week. Connect with us online this morning at KXXV.com and on the News 25 mobile app.